Let's start with the fried egg. You can use any white fabric for the egg whites. So white t-shirt, white towels we do. And then uh, we'll draw an egg white shape on the back side of the fabric and pin them together. I'm using a number two stitch to stitch around and I left a hole so that I can flip it over. Over here, I'm cutting very near to the stitch line. There's no need to clip the corners or the curves around the egg. It will turn out just fine. Just make sure that there's a one centimeter allowance on the gap so that you can fold it over and finish it nicely. So the egg yolks are done the same way. I think this is called short hair minky fabric. I only needed one yard of this because the finish width is around 145 centimeters. I cut off 10 centimeters from the short side and used that to make the egg yolks. So now we just hand stitch the egg yolk onto the egg whites with matching thread. We don't have to worry about that gap there. We just bring it over to the blanket and, and arrange the eggs into a pattern that you like. I'm using zigzag stitches set at number two for both the stitch length and the stitch length. When you get to the end, you lift the needle up and then you switch it to straight stitch and sew back and forth so the stitch won't fall off so over here i am just double checking that my my blanket is in a rectangular shape it's very noisy in my house but my husband practices on his drums so i have some jagged edges on the side so i'm going to clean that up For the backing, I'm using this slinky, waterproof kind of fabric that they use to make umbrellas. Um, so this is the tricky part of the sewing since you will be sewing um, a stretchy fabric onto a non-stretch one. So I didn't cut the backing into size. I pin and sew one side at a time and leave a gap on the last side and then I trim off all the excess backing fabric. After I flip the blanket out, I pin the seams together flat and then top stitch over them. And the blanket is completed. I'm making this as a travel blanket, so I'm using this elastic band to keep it in place so that I can put it into my bag. Oops.